Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am looking at the reference code on GitHub for the Motion Supervised Copart Segmentation Paper. There is a little link to the readme and obviously the link to this is down in the description. Now, if you see my recent video, you'll have some idea about what's going on. If not, then this will also explain all. As you can see here from the example segmentations, what it does is it's able to cut up a, an image into various different parts. So you've got an area there for the mouth, a bit for the eyes and ears and hair and stuff. And the same here on the Tai Chi data set, it sort of split the left leg and right leg and arms and head and things. So this allows you to do part swaps. So if you've got an image there with dark hair and a video with lighter hair, you can change that lighter hair into darker hair, or you can put a beard on somebody, or you can swap the eye color or just the lips. Hmm, interesting stuff. Now, installation, as always, is just pip install minus r requirements.txt. If you're like me, you are using Anaconda, then you'll just create your new Anaconda environment, conda create minus minus name, whatever name you want to give it. And I'm doing it in Python 3.7 activate your environment, then you can install those requirements. Now you'll also need these pre-trained checkpoints as well, uh, which you can download there from the Yandex disk or Google Drive links. They are exactly the same checkpoints as the first order motion model for image animation. So I've simply created symbolic links to those. The same with the images directory. That's all those 256 by 256 images. And I've also created a results and a videos directory there to put all my videos and results in. Now, running it is as simple as just this one command here, partswap.py, with loads and loads of different options in there. So let's have a look at some of these. Now we've got minus minus hard there for hard segmentation. Uh, you probably won't want to use it, have a look. Uh, depends what you want your video to come out like. Uh, same with use source segmentation, you'll probably not want to use that, but what you definitely will want to use is the minus minus supervised option along with the first order motion model option. Now to run this, you will also need to slam that command in there. So you'll git clone into your face parsing. So you'll get a face parsing directory there with all that stuff to detect faces. Now, if you don't do it supervised, uh, like for example, it's not possible on the Tai Chi data set because it's not a face, um, then you will get some interesting results. So for example, I tried this video here, there's a woman walking, there is the original video, and then I used a static image of a suit up here, in here, we've got some suits, there's a suit, so there's a chap in a suit, and you mix those together, so eventually you get walking suit yeah interesting so that's that's quite good uh, but it's much much better with the faces uh, primarily because it can do the face parsing in there so let's have a look at this command and see what's going on Got rather a long command in here so we'll pop that down there and let's let's see what all these different bits are so we've got the config in there so those, those are the configs that it comes with now you can use the Tai Chi with the Tai Chi data set uh, for the Vox one, you will have to use the 10 segments. The five segments and 15 segments are there just as examples, and you'll have to train your own model if you want to use those. Target video, as already mentioned, the same as a driving video in your first order motion model for image animation, and the source images we've been through. Checkpoints, those are those checkpoints. Now this swap index, what is going on here? Okay, well, I'll just let this run because that will take about 40 seconds to go through and let's go through these various indexes. So you can swap, as mentioned, any of those different segments and they seem to roughly line up to these numbers. So zero is the background. Uh, if you want to do the facial skin or the beard, that's a one. Uh, you've also got eyebrows, eyes, left and right ear. Um, not sure what eight and nine and 15 and 16 are, but 10's the nose, 11's teeth, you've got top lip, bottom lip, neck, hair, and even more hair, or if they've got a hat or some sort of thing on top of their head, they can also do that. Um, now, another thing I played with was the last line in that uh, part swap. Uh, added, I just added quality 10 in there to make the images a little more crisp. So as you can see there, quality 10, just slap that in on the last line. If you want full quality videos. So let's see what that has turned out like. 
So we've got an output there, and this was uh, a plant man with a beard. So here's the original plant man video. There he is, so called because he's got some plants hanging on his face there. He turns. Unfortunately, uh, the face data set often isn't very good with turns, but hey, and then he turns back again. And then we have images, we've got beard. There we go, a rather fantastic beard. So if you mix those two together, what do you get? You get a man with a rather fantastic looking beard. Look at that. Yeah, and the, even the plants have changed into beard as well. So that's that's quite cool. Yeah, that's quite cool. So let's let's do a mixy matchy one as well. Here's a here's a great big long command we can do. Again, I will leave that running. So this is swapping a smile green screen with a picture of Ronald Reagan. So let's have a look at that green screen. So there she is smiling. This one's a bit quicker to run through. Uh, as you can see, it's quite useful to uh, to keep the background from the original video. For example, if it is a green screen, uh, as then you can just chroma key it out. So we've got a few different parts in here and let's have a look at what happens there. So as you can see there, she's got her original nose, her original hair and her original lips and everything else has been swapped over. So we get a rather luscious looking Ronald Reagan there. Fantastic stuff. Anyway, that is about it for me. Uh, do enjoy your motion supervised co-part segmentation. Rodin's out.